All right, Rob, I want to ask you. Uh, Steph Curry's now, and the Warriors got their fourth championship in this run. Steph was fantastic last night. Uh, 31 points. I'm sorry, 34 points. Don't seven cheat Seven assists, seven rebounds. What would you say? Don't cheat him. Don't yeah. cheat Seven em. rebounds. Uh, hit 13 points in the fourth quarter. Several big shots. Uh, a lot of them drives. You know, when the Celtics, because Rob, like we've talked about before, I think in this era now, there are close 12-point games. And when Boston, they cut it to nine. They cut it to ten. It was just like, okay, uh, are they, you know, are they about to have a run and get hot? I didn't and feel every like time it, that but... happened, Steph had a driving layup. Uh, a lot of times took Al Horford, who he got on the switch to the bucket, finished on him. Just a great overall performance. And, of course, he was named the finals MVP, and it wasn't close. It's definitive, his series. So here's what I want to ask you, Rob. Um, what do you think this championship does for Steph Curry's legacy and this um, Warriors team, if you like. Yeah, I mean, I, I, obviously it enhances it. I don't think, to me, it catapults him into the top ten. I think I've seen a lot of people. I think that's prisoner of the moment. I think there's a lot of that going on. He's had a great career. Um, I don't know if he didn't have a super team put together. And then here's the other issue that I have. Is it Steph Curry and nobody, or, or now all of a sudden it seems as, as if he has nobody? Like Clay and Draymond and Durant doesn't matter. Like he, it's all Steph Curry, and that's why I think people Who's start saying to that? just. I, I just hear people talk about uh, Steph um, and you know what he's been able to accomplish. Accomplish, right. and, and it's too bad that I'm on vacation next week because we could have done a little bit more of it. And then, of course, LeBron's name came up last night, which it would because he has four championships. And people are starting to say, well, is this the LeBron era? He won four, but Steph won four during his era as well. And whose career is better? You know, is this the LeBron era or is this the Steph era? You know, so that was another thing that, like I said, not for today, but as you go forward with the story. So, yeah, he... Obviously, upped his his uh, stake, his his uh, profile, for people to have that conversation or feel comfortable. Whereas, had he not won, I don't think that you would have that. We'd be talking anything about that. So, yeah, he did up his uh, profile, his career, his resume, and it'll be hard for anybody to argue that he can't be in that in a in a conversation of some of the greatest players who ever played. Yeah, I think he has to be in the discussion for top 10 of all time. Obviously, it's subjective, so some will have him right. in, some there's won't. No, there's no, ha- there's no do. correct answer. Right. right. There's no I do answer. have him in the top 10. I think, Rob, the discussion went from who do you take out to, oh, he got to be in. I mean, when you, when you – now, he's not – I don't have him next to Magic Johnson, as some might be trying to say he's the best point guard ever. I got Magic as that. But Magic, Bird, Kobe, Duncan, Shaq, you don't say who you taking out. You say they're in, and they got to be in. And I think Steph's there. And I don't think it's, you know, anybody's dismissing Clay and Draymond and even Durant. I just think that we everybody understands this is his team. And it was even his team when Durant was there. Um, he set the culture like Tim Duncan. They were always Tim Duncan's team. Even as he was beginning to fade and Tony Parker was the focal point of the offense and Duncan was just a great defender, communicator, and still, you know, got rebounds and was scored when he needed to. But you understood it was his team. He set the culture He was the centerpiece of the dynasty. So I think that's why you hear more, obviously, as you should, about Steph. Just like you heard about Michael with LeBron's championships. You hear about him. Uh, It's not to dismiss the others, but it's understanding that he was the star. Or even Bird. You know, Mikhail and Parrish and Dennis Johnson are all Hall of Famers in their own right. But we look at it as the Bird Celtics. And I think what it does, Rob, and we'll get into, you know, the top 10 later in the show. It, it kills all the yeah buts to me. Uh, it answers every question now. See, like, I, I'm there not was the there. question of no finals MVP. Well, that's been answered. 
There was the question of, well, there was no finals. He really distinguished himself and dominant. Well, that's been answered. He averaged 31 points, 48% shooting, 42% from three, six rebounds and five dimes, plus two steals against either the best or the second best to the Warriors defense in the NBA. A defense that had really given Kevin Durant problems, gave Giannis problems, and gave Jimmy Butler problems, and he he did his thing against them. I also think it answered the the not clutch, you know, uh, stuff. Did he hit a buzzer beater? No, there was no need. But he game four. If they lose that game, now they did just beat Boston three straight. So maybe maybe they would have been able to come back from three one down. But obviously, you don't think they would have. So that was a must win essentially. And he goes out and has the best game of his career, plus 10 rebounds in addition to the 43 points. And then last night, coming back from, you know, the, the mediocre, I don't think it was a bad game, a mediocre game five, and drops 34, like I said, 13 points in the fourth quarter. Big bucket, whether a three uh, or, or a driving layup. So I, I think he answered the clutch issue as well. And so I, I don't think there are any more questions about him. Uh, yeah. People can – can yeah, go ahead. You, you, I, you I think dis- there I, are? I disagree from the standpoint that you, you're looking at his career and saying that everything is, that Steph's done, there's two things that still stick out, which, which you can always use in the equation, is that he, it's his team. They choked down a 3-1 to one lead, which had never happened. And he was there. He was the guy that couldn't get one win. And number two, would he have two championships? I mean, that's a fact. No, what no, no. Is that? I'm just I'm asking, just like, what did that sound like? Is that a question? No, no, no. I'm just saying. Oh, he ain't perfect. No, no, no. That's I mean, what I'm saying. When I, I, look right. at, when well, I look at his. I didn't say he was perfect. I just I'm said just, I think he's answered every question. Yeah, What's the I'm question just, you just proposed? Yeah, and then the other question is, despite well, no, him what winning. What was the first question? No, I'm saying that that for a lot of people, they act like that never happened, is what I'm trying to say. Like, that's not a part of his, his dialogue. I'm, no, people. No, I think they're just saying that doesn't st- take away from his greatness. Yeah, I, I think it does. When, How I can think LeBron that, I, be the second best ever with what happened against Dallas? He didn't lose, but nobody's ever done 3 1. Yeah, but LeBron, nobody. No, 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 no very one. few superstars have melted down. Like LeBron did I, I in just, 11, like Magic did LeBron, in 84. LeBron is a different animal because of the numbers and the sheer numbers of what he will eventually have. So when you look at LeBron. He's a better he, player. No, yes. I know, but also the numbers. He's going to be the all-time leading scorer. He's done all his things, the most points in the pl- playoffs because of his longevity and being in the postseason that much. So he has a, he has a different criteria for me. And I'm just saying – the other part is, would he really have four championships without Kevin Durant? So would so Magic I, have not, five no, without Kareem? But but that team wasn't. Would all-time. LeBron have no, four no, without Chris, Dwayne just, Wade? I'm, I'm tra- just asking you. Like tra- really, that was his teammate. They maximized it together. Is no, there, no, no. He but should be were, penalized because Kevin Durant was his teammate. Yes, yes, Why? because of this. Because, I'm trying to tell you because it's the <laughs> same conversation sense. that people have had about Durant, where they question. Uh, his winning those two championships with that squad, that put it over the top when you know Kevin Durant joined the Warriors. It? They looked at it and said, this is ridiculous, this is bad. So I'm just saying that it goes both ways. It goes it for Durant and it goes for Steph, who agreed to having Kevin Durant. He could have stopped it and said, we don't need Kevin Durant. Let's do our own thing. I don't want Kevin Durant. He could have done that, but Why he Why should he have done that? Because he wanted to have his own thing. I don't need another star. He does have his own thing. No, but he, he does he have his need own that. thing. But I but mean, he, that, that's like saying Magic shouldn't have wanted to play with Kareem. No, that's I, Bird Kareem was have already to play there. With Mikhail and I, Kareem was Bird there. played with like five Hall of Famers when he won his championship. No, no, no. But he didn't. It, it wasn't after he had won a championship that he brought those people on. They hadn't won. Boston wasn't that good. Chris, when Bird got there. I, he, they weren't. They had a bunch of Hall of Famers. But they weren't good. Go look at the record the, the year no, before he got there. No, I know what the there. record was okay, the year before he good. got there. I'm just saying and they weren't they, good. And they then they didn't win it the next year. They won it his second right, year. Right, but Bird being there. And he wasn't even team. the finals MVP. He had eight what? points in two games, shot three for 11 I, I in back-to-back that. games. But, but, but Bird 
changed the culture, changed that team. Just when he got like there. Steph did. And Golden all State I'm, wasn't very good before he all got All I'm there. saying is there are people, including me, who will say, I'm not convinced that Steph would have won those other two championships because they lost, probably cost LeBron two championships that Steph and the Warriors did what LeBron did in Miami by putting together a super team. And so it wound up biting LeBron in the butt. But but I'm just saying, nobody's here's taking the, anything Here's about, the difference I, between they're, they're, Steph and Durant. Steph is proven before Durant got there and after Durant left that he could win without Durant. Durant hasn't proven he can win without Steph. So to say that they're the same is ridiculous. It's not. It is the same. When I'm is, talking about when by that, joining, has Durant joining, proved it by joining forces. I mean, Chris. It, oh, let's even not, if even if you take not, away, let's say, hold on. Let, even if you take right, right, away let's, let's, the let's, two let's, the two championships with Durant, Steph still has two, and Durant has none. Yeah, but Durant How can got, you say it's Durant the same got thing? to a finals when he was younger. He got to a finals. He got to a finals. Now we giving you jo- props for getting to a finals. No, but don't Win make it, it like. But don't make it like he what he didn't even he had no shot. You gotta at win, it. baby. And the same way, the same people who are making you the ain't excuses grounding LeBron for getting of, the ten of, finals of of the last he lost ten finals of six finals. Durant and, lost and, his other finals that he got to. Yeah, he one time with a younger team. I won't. Uh, LeBron, I won't even LeBron put. LeBron lost but he six. Lost. LeBron lost six with, How, with three. Has Durant with won anything stars. without Steph? No, no. My point is the no, same no, way that that's people your make no, 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 the same way that people has make he won excuses, anything without Steph? For Steph, the last two years, him. because yes. of injuries, Le- uh, yeah, Durant injuries. has gone through the same thing. Durant the wasn't same injured thing. before he went to Golden State. I'm talking about the two. He had two, plenty of opportunities before he went to Golden State. He blew a 3-1 years, lead, too. Chris, the last You're two hating. years. You're hating. No, I'm 877 not. 877 99 on Fox. 877 996 I have a, I have a reporter's you, notebook. You clearly got to have please. I don't have, no, you a, don't. I don't have pom-poms. Because if you were being objective, I'm not a, I'm not you a wouldn't understand. Guy. There's I'm not a, a pom-pom please. guy. You wear a skirt a and a pom-pom for Aaron Rodgers. I'm, rep- I'm a reporter. If, if, you, if wow. you were being objective as an objective reporter, then you wouldn't You're gonna say. You're going to tell me what objective you is, Chris? Yeah, please, I'm going to tell you what objective it. is. You're the you biggest homer. You would not homer. be saying. You're, you're a prisoner of the moment, a homer moment? all the time. What That's moment? All you ever the do. last eight years? Is that a you're moment? Always. Last year, I don't remember when he didn't have any points in the fourth quarter or in overtime against Memphis that I remember you saying this. You picked the what Suns was I supposed to win the to say championship. last year? You when they got the beat, I'm supposed to, what was I supposed the to say last year? Did you don't pick get the off the subject. I'm asking you. Did you don't pick the Suns? Don't get off the subject. Yeah, okay. You thought Steph was going to win you picked the Suns. No. Come on, what man. I'm saying. What, what, what don't do you, be that. Why are you getting off the subject? I'm just telling you, you what you go are. Ahead, Tom. Go ahead, finish. I'm telling you what you are. You picked the Suns all year. We can play the tapes. They're the Ain't best team in the NBA. That. And now you're telling me Steph. Oh, I knew Steph was going to win. Cause I never why said you pick that. Them? I why never you said I knew him, they were going to win. I'm asking you, when why did, did I you say, pick Steph? Hold on. If you, when if did, I'm why did you pick Steph? If I'm going to let you talk, then you got to let me talk. When did I say I knew he was going to win? I, other than picking them before the series. When did I say it, Rob Parker? I'm asking you. No, I'm asking you. I'm asking when did you I because say Steph it? Is Don't a put words in my player, mouth. Just and is like, the greatest. How come you didn't pick him to right, win the right, championship? Look, if you go, you you I'm don't want to. You, you don't you want to have. You don't want to have a discussion. Did you pick him? I'm asking you. Yes, answer, before oh. the series, I picked him. No, but I'm talking about before the playoffs. You picked the Suns. No, I didn't. Yeah, right. I did. So just because he's a top ten player means I had to pick him. I didn't pick the Lakers. Okay. LeBron's a top ten player. Guys. If you're gonna argue and debate with me, come with some logic and not just emotion. 